The biggest crossover boxing event ever. Live on the Zone pay-per-view, October 14th. Sign up at DAZN.com. Hey everyone, this is Emily Brooke and I'm going to be doing interviews for IFL TV. So who are we going to go interview? Fred, yeah? Let's go ask Fred Beck some questions today. Fred. Are you free for some questions? So, how are you today? I'm good. It's an honour to be on the channel once again. Q and Cassius, legend of the game. Joe Pugh, another fam very famous interviewer. I know a lot of people compare Joe Pugh to Q and Cassius. You know, Joe could be overtaking him by now in, in skills of interviewing. I know it's, it's up to debate, you know, but I'm lucky to be on the channel, you know, big channel IFL. They are very impressive interviewers. So, who are you excited to see? Like, what's your favourite fight? I think Dean will lead. I think that's a very exciting fight to see. I'm sure they'll get into it. Bring a few tables, few chairs to them this week, so it should yeah. be good. I'm excited to see them, you know, Dean will lead. I guess a lot of pro boxing fans are like to see them box. So they're probably the most technical fight of the night, I would say. Definitely, and they're guaranteed to bring the action for sure, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, so who do you think is going to win out of KSI and Tommy Fury? Well, I think what KSI needs to do, it needs to be awkward, make him more of a dog fight, a street fight. KSI doesn't want to box Tommy Fury. He wants to make it kind of be awkward, kind of maybe a little bit dirty at times. Obviously, I can't give predictions, just like every other interviewer does. Um, but I think Kessa needs to be kind of make it more of a dogfight, I reckon, if he wants to get the win this time around. Agreed. He needs to use that erratic style, doesn't he? I think, um, I think a good decision, though. I think the fight. I don't think I don't think either guy will get a knockout. I reckon a decision. Do you know what? I'm pretty split. I think it could go either way. Yeah. So yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But also, last one uh, out of Dan Dennis and Logan Paul. Well, I think it depends. I guess everyone's picking Logan for the fight, but if it's Dylan might do something illegal, he might do a rugby tackle or try and tap him out, get him a choke hold, kind of like Nate Diaz did a Jake Paul, or give him a triangle lock or knee, punch, elbow. Dylan Diaz might make it a little bit dirty, you never know. Yeah, no, he's the type to fight dirty. Well, look at what he's doing all over Twitter, yeah. so yeah. He's pretty unhinged. He fights like he does on Twitter, you never know. You yeah. don't know what to expect, I guess, yeah. Exactly. It should be good. Well, thank you for your time today, Fred. Thank you very much, you know, IFL, big channel. Uh, big Shout out to them. IFL.